Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Subnautica Below Zero. Last time we left off, we expand, uh, we got the sea truck uh, modification upgrade, which allows us to go 300 uh, meters now, which is very, very, very nice, and we will definitely be making use of that. I also built this last time, I believe, the bioreactor, and we got some peppers in there, getting us some more energy. Okay, yeah, and, uh, this place looks nice. So, what do I need food-wise? I think I should probably eat some of these. There we go. Num, num. And yeah, we have another one planted over here. <coughs> Just, uh, use that to go ahead and, uh, <coughs> get some, uh, water. God, my throat's been messing with me today. And I'm not sure why. But, whatever. So, we have titanium, we're gonna go ahead and put in there. We have some copper, we're gonna go ahead and put in there. Lead goes in ya, along with lithium. Okay, cool, and we got water there. Let's go ahead and switch out our batteries. And the sea glide, for sure. And, yeah, probably the mineral thing as well. It's looking a little bit rough. And, what other thing do we have that... Needs to be repaired a bit. The laser cutter, I guess. Whatever, we'll just deal with it. Yep, and then we have the grow bed. Oh yeah, I forgot I did that too. So, now that we have uh, that stuff, make sure I'm not forgetting anything here. So what do we need for the storage module? We don't, we can't make the fabricator module yet, but the we need a plasteel ingot, lead, and a wiring kit. So... I think you just require that and one of these, right? I guess I'm wrong. We need two lithium, which uh, I just so happen to have enough of. So let's go ahead and plug that in there. Get ourselves a plasteel ingot. And I believe the other thing we needed was a wiring kit, correct? Uh, so I, I recently got a new setup. <clears throat> For recording and everything, so I've been messing with that stuff. So if I sound this, like slightly different or anything, it might be because I'm further away or closer to my mic or something. I think with all the things I do in OBS, uh, or not OBS, uh, Audacity in post-production, uh, I think I should sound pretty much the same. I don't know why I came out here. Uh, we need lead. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I should still sound the same for the most part. Hopefully, let me know if I sound weird or different or something and I'll futz with the audio, but I should sound mostly the same. I, I listened to the audio myself and it seems pretty good. Um, so where do I actually make... Mobile Vehicle Bay. Okay. So we need to take you over to the Mobile Vehicle Bay, friend. Uh, where was my Mobile Vehicle Bay? It's... It's in a slightly different position now, right? Like, it's kind of away from me. I'm trying to get above the water here. And just kind of stay above the water. So I can try to find my mobile vehicle bay. But that's proving to be a bit hard. Okay, well... Let's see. Our current base is right here. So I think our old place was this way? God, I've just completely forgotten where I left my mobile vehicle bay. I guess we're just gonna go down to that place uh, without any extra storage. Because I don't remember where my uh, mobile vehicle bay is. And yep, it's still snowy up here so I can't see shit. All right, well, away we go. Where's the deep trench? Where is the deep trench? I wanted to go down there and possibly grab some more stuff, but eh, I suppose we could go get some lithium, because I am basically completely out of that. And we can explore this biome a bit more. It was also the pilot's last known location, and I did go there last time. There was some stuff. But not, uh, everything that I needed, I feel. Is this something I can... Okay, no. I just wanted to see if that was something I could interact with or not. 
We still need synthetic fibers, and I haven't found the plant that I need for that. Just kind of want to investigate this place a bit more. Oh, that's just one of you assholes. What is this? What is that down there? This looks like... Oh, okay, I thought this was tech or something. But no, oh, it's just this thing. Okay, cool, so I found this thing again. Yeah, I remember freaking out because I was like, did I not examine the receptacle where minerals were put out? Correctly or something? Was there a way for me to actually collect some minerals from this thing? I believe this is the mineral collector. Doesn't look like there's anything in it. Yeah, doesn't look like there's anything. Okay, I was worried I had missed something when uh, I came to that. But oh well, it looks like we're good. Unless this is the actual receptacle, no. Alright, so we found that again. Uh, but maybe instead of just focusing on going into uh, that one place, maybe we should just prioritize... Um, wait, what is all that? That's an ore vein. What is that though? Gold! I'll take that. Okay, so we got something good in here. Um, maybe we should just prioritize kind of making progress rather than uh, just going back to the deep trench, but I feel like there's probably some good shit in the deep trench if I can, oh my God. Can I, can I please get out of here? Please, do you please? Come, come on, you can fit through that. What? Okay, maybe you can't. Maybe you can't. How the hell did I get you in here then? Eh. Eh. And this is breaking my sea truck. Is there a bigger area? How, how did I squeeze it in, but I can't get it out? Let's try exiting over here. Maybe we'll fare better here? Okay. Okay, there we go. That's better. And there's some lithium right there. Okay. Cool. All right. God, I'm just beating the shit out of this poor defenseless sea truck. Poor defenseless sea truck. I'm just ramming into everything. Okay, so where do we want to go? That's 575 meters away. There's refuge. There's the trench. So should we go investigate the trench some more now that we actually have a sea truck that goes deeper? Uh, I mean, I would want to go towards one of the alien things, but I'm kind of interested in the deep trench. Like, what other stuff could be hiding down there, is my main question. Because there's got to be other stuff, right? Also got to keep an eye on my power, because we're at uh, 48% currently. Hopefully I don't go down here, get attacked by a squid shark, and lose my sea truck. That would be uh, disastrous. <clears throat> But hopefully that's not going to happen. Fingers crossed, everyone. Fingers crossed. So let's... Ah! Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Okay, we're good. We are good. Alright, so... Let's go deep down. Oh god, we're our... Okay, right here is 300 meters? Really? This is all the extra distance I can get? Shit. Okay, never mind. I thought it was going to go way deeper than that, but no. Oh god. Oh god, you see me, don't you? I think you do. <sighs> okay, so maybe we need a, an, even, an even better upgrade for the sea truck before we can... Uh, tackle this place, I guess. Because if that's if that's as far down as it'll let me go, then that doesn't really help that much. I thought I was going to get to go much deeper. But no. Unfortunately not. I'm glad uh, my sea truck gets repaired when I restart the game, because I haven't had to use a repair tool yet, and uh, it looks like I might not have to. Of course, it is a little dangerous that I'm just kind of exploring without a repair tool, because if my Sea truck got irreparably damaged, I would not be able to repair it. 
And that is dangerous. Okay, so we're back at home. You know what? Let's just pick a let's just pick an artifact and go to it. That one seems really deep. I say we go to this one that's artifact L F O. I say we go there. God, this has been a weird episode to start. I haven't recorded Subnautica in a few days, so that certainly didn't help. God. Oh god, are we going towards I think we are going towards where that giant monster was. I think so, because he was hanging out over here. I'll just have to keep an, uh, an ear out. Just have to keep an ear out. Grab some more lithium. Is there any more hanging out around here? Not that I immediately see. Alright, so yeah, we went down there last time. We good? I think we're good. How deep does this ravine go? Eh, not too deep. What was that? We just gotta watch out for big boys. Big boys are what we want to avoid. Big lads. Alright, let's keep going. I remember these, like, stairs over here. I don't think I'm even going to be able to get to that. That's, like, straight up 400 meters down. I don't think I'll actually be able to reach that. Okay, that's just you guys. Hello? I believe this was the general area I saw the big bad. That's just one of you. So I don't need to be afraid of that. Yeah, that's just you guys. Okay, let's just continue on our merry way here. Trying to be safe. Trying not to die. I feel like it's a good plan. Okay. Oh god. How about no? How about no? Wow, you're really going, huh? Okay, that's just another one of you guys. Yeah, we're making our way towards the pilot's last known position again. With the annoying assholes that... ...tried to kill me. By making me drown. God, I hate that. Just looking up and nothing, and looking down and nothing. I despise it with every fiber of my being. Okay, we're down here. We didn't explore this biome enough, I feel. There's probably more to do here. So let's give it another uh, look-see, why don't we? That goes much deeper. Okay. And then there's this, which is the pilot's last known position. These are just brute sharks. Yeah, I don't... Like, there wasn't anything else here, right? We got that stuff, but it doesn't seem to connect to anything, and I think I explored that location. And then back there's the ship. So I think we should just go deeper from here, right? Potentially. Oh god, my phone's going off. My work phone always gets, like, tons of spam calls. It's very, very obnoxious. Alright, what are these? They look like they could be useful. Antenna plant. And a fruit? Database entry unlocked. I mean, I'll pick them. Green turnion. You're new. Oh, you're new. Aren't you? Oh, wait, no, are you just a squid shark? Are you just another squid shark? Is this area just... Yeah, okay, yeah, you're just another squid shark. Okay. What is that? Are you something? Sea truck aquarium module. Gimme, gimme. 
That sounds neato. Uh, wait, what is this? Fallen lily pad. You're new as well. Okay, please nothing, like, try to screw me up. Wait, what are you? Oh, you're just a glow well. I was like, you're big. This is quite a... Uh, very rich environment. There's a lot of things here. Just hanging out. Alright, so let's try to go a little bit deeper, why don't we? I can't believe squid sharks are just hanging out here. Like, they're just a thing in this area. Interesting. Okay, so you're the closest. Let's try going over here. Wait, what is that? That looks like a light. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Oh. Interesting. Are you new? Oh, I thought that was a big monster over there, but it's not. I think you might be new. No? Okay, well, you're, you're at least not scannable, so... This just looks like a new biome, though, at least. We're getting to explore a bit of. Is that just like a big sea monkey over there? What are you? Hey, you just look like a big sea monkey. Hi? What are you? Nothing that I can scan, but we can scan the lily pad root. So yeah, this is a this is just the lily pad zone where like the ground has been pulled up by the lily pads. Okay, but before I get too distracted, there was something over here, right? Yeah, I was pretty sure I saw like some sort of light. There's also another ultra capacity tank fragment. Holy shit, give me that. I need a few more of those. Seek fluid intake. Oh, come on. There. Vital signs stabilizing. I suppose... Yeah, let's just go ahead and fill our water up. I think it drains faster the less you have. So I think it's a good idea to max yourself out when you can. Nothing? What was... Exosuit Thermal Reactor Module. Interesting. Well, I'm certainly getting some new stuff down here. That is for sure. There seems to be a high f frequency of sea monkeys in this particular area. Yes, ultra capacity tank, please! I need one more. Hi, friends. Ooh, Nickel! Oh my god, thank you, buddy! Nickel is very useful. Nickel is very, very useful. Where did you get such a thing, friend? What was that noise? I don't know what that noise was. Thank you, friend. Where did you find Nickel? Is that just hanging out here? Let's let's see if we can find it. Uh, Ion Cube, Glow Whale, Metal Salvage. N yeah, oh wait. Nickel, 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 Nickel. I don't know why I scrolled all the way through again. There. Searching? I mean, it had to find it somewhere, right? And it must have been somewhere around here, right? Huh? Yes? Where? Where? I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Oh, I should have examined it. Damn. Alright, well, we gotta keep an eye on our, uh oxygen here, so let me go ahead and get back over here. And my sea truck's over there. Let's move the sea truck up a little bit. I'm interested in this area since it has nickel, which if I recall correctly was like one of the- oh, I'm so sorry, buddy! I'm so sorry. If I recall correctly, it was one of the like later game, uh, or... In, uh, the first Subnautica, 
So the fact that we're finding it here is probably pretty good. Okay, another one of these. <gasps> Ruby! Where? Where giant monster that wants to eat me? It just roared at something, so... It's gotta be close by, right? Uh, thermal reactor module fragment. Prawn suit thermal reactor. Okay, so the prawn suit is in this game. And we also got hydrochloric acid. So prawn suit's in the game. Got it. Prawn suit has been confirmed. What's that? Is that a light stick all the way down there? Well, I mean, that lady had a prawn suit. So I guess you could have assumed th that... Based off of that... Thank you, friend. Thank you. Uh, I guess you could have assumed off of that that, um... Yeah, the prawn suit was in the game. Something big sounds like it's nearby. I want to exam- I want to look at some of my databank stuff now. Ruby, a hard blood red gemstone made of aluminum oxide. Rubies may be processed in order to leverage their structural integrity and advanced vehicle construction and modification. Alright. Fauna. Herbivores large. Hive mind. Interesting. The hive mind are never alone and grow in massive clusters. They are physically connected by a root system which sends out chemical signals to the present in the presence of large predators. This signal activates a chemical reaction with its green porous membrane, resulting in a visible change of color in its bioluminescence. Its action has two, two effects. The uniform change in color grants the hive mind the appearance of one large interconnected uh, organism. This is a form of camouflage called disruptive color coloration, which is confusing the predators. Smaller sea creatures confuse the change in color for sunlight and are drawn towards the cluster. So, grown domestic clusters connected by root station sends out chemical signals in the presence of large predators. This signal activates a chemical reaction with the green porous membrane resulting in a visible change of color. So if I see those things change color, I need to get the fuck out, basically, is what I'm hearing. This species is noteworthy for its colorful leaves, which attract the attention of nearby herbivores. The hungry fish who devour the antennae fruit will then spread the plant seeds across the biome, perpetuating its life cycle. Fallen lily pad. Eventually, mature lily pads die. While the large leaf allows for an effective area for photosynthesis, there are limited nutrients stored in the earth entangled in the floating root system. When the mature lily pad runs out of nutrients, it will begin to wither and fall back to the seabed, which begins the cycle anew. The fallen lily pad provides nutrients for young seedlings to grow and provides necessary nutrients for other flora and fauna. Cool little ecosystem we got here. Green Turnian. Green Turnians benefit from the lily pad life cycle. They tend to anchor themselves on lily pad roots and near fallen lily pads and use the material as nutrients. Oh, that's the thing I tried to examine a second time, I guess. I, I guess I thought I hadn't examined it before. Lily pad root. Tangled, dense root structures that occasionally pull chunks of terrain from the seabed, connecting an intertwined network of plant life and suspended rock. And heck. External vacuums on this module collect live specimens from the surrounding water and deposit them safely and humanely inside glass tanks, which can then be accessed from inside the truck. Many years of technological endeavor produce the pressure-resistant single-sheet nano-reinforced glass of the tanks. This remarkable feat of engineering creates the optimal enclosure for the study and observation of contained fauna. That doesn't seem like something I need in my, uh, sea truck, but it seems like something that would be nice. Okay, what is that? That's an oxygen plant. Okay, yeah, we got a couple of things around here. You're like turning a different color, probably probably because of me, right? Probably because I'm near you. All right, let's get out and investigate here. So I noticed these lights, which leads me to believe that that person may be here. What is that, bud? Uh, wow. Thank you. Uh, ooh, Ruby. Gimme, gimme. Okay, what else do we got hanging out here? Might be worth it to scan for more nickel. Searching. Of course, we might have hit the Ruby part. What the hell was that? 
I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. <gasps> There's a base down there. Wonder if it's our friend? Okay, we're good, we're good. That is a very big base. This could very well be our friend. The only question is, is it safe? So far, it seems like it is. Okay, so. Large room glass dome fragment. New blueprint synthesized. Just trying to make sure there's nothing around here that wants to eat me. All right, let's also bring our sea truck a bit closer so it's easier to do trips back to the sea truck for air. I definitely hear something creeping around in here. I just don't know what it is. And that makes me even more scared of it. It sounds new, but that is definitely a sight that we probably- Didn't I tell you to stay away? From what? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite Maida is the name. Warning. You're Maximum on my turf. Staged. Pull damage Great. imminent. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. I want to go meet this sick badass. So this is your house, I'm guessing. Okay, so I could have just gotten oxygen by just walking in, but I would have missed that dialogue. So that would have been unfortunate. <gasps> There's the moon pool! Yes, I need a moon pool. Moon pool is very useful. Moon pool is very useful. What else do we got? So, so uh, somebody in the comments yeah, juice box actually told me to scan like literally everything. So I'm trying to be a bit more vigilant about scanning. Uh, everything. What, what was that? Oh, okay, the large room fragment. Oh wow, a large room? So there's something even bigger than the multi-purpose room now. That's neat. Also takes a millennia to scan. New blueprint synthesized. Okay. We have an interesting little base here. The containment. Are you making like peeper jerky and stuff? Large room partition. How do I get into your base? Do I have to do it through the moon room? I might have to do it through the moon room. Customized prawn suit. Marguerite's prawn suit. Yep. Okay, so you get in through the moon room. Got it. Yep, that is a customized prawn suit, alright. Uh, we got anything else hanging out in here? Doesn't look like anything of import. Alright, so we got new databank stuff. Login communications. Marguerite. Marguerite's prawn suit. <coughs> The standard issue MK3 Prawn has been manually altered by its owner, exchanging one of its hot swappable work arms for the mandible of a young Kelliserit. Given the range of available high tech prawn modifications in the non classified Altera fabrication suite, these customizations appear to be more of a stylistic choice than a functional one. However, the sharp claw arm could certainly be used effectively in defensive scenarios by an experienced pilot. Uh, the custom suit also appears to have seen heavy use over a long period of time, judging by the barnacle overgrowth and permanently damaged sections of Exoskeleton. skeleton. The owner doesn't want you messing around. This is true. Habitat installation is Moonpool. The Moonpool is an essential module for long-term exploration. Its primary function is as a dry dock for small vehicles such as the Sea Moth and Prawn Suit. The large central chamber contains a pressurized pool which provides ready access to the surrounding waters and comes as standard with equipment for raising and recharging a vehicle. When outfitted with a vehicle modification station, the moon pool can be used to build and equip vehicle upgrades. So yeah, that's basically where you store your uh, um, stuff. And I should... I'm actually running out of water. <clears throat> that's no good. I shouldn't have eaten those because that just killed my water supply. Yeah, your base has been here for quite a bit. Hello? That scared me. I told you to stay off my land. You trained that thing? 
Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not, Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. Hey, big boy. You scared the shit out of me. You weird stegosaurus dog. You're, you're cute now that I get a good look at you, though. Test override module fragment. Okay, so this is what we needed... Yeah, to disable that tower. Yeah, I remember that. The tower we were talking about. Anything over here? Abandoned PDA. Marguerite. Maeda's log. Not seen anything else to scan in here. You got quite an interesting little setup, I will say. Hmm. Ah, Snow Fox. Snow Fox? Oh, that's probably for getting around on land. Yeah, that's probably what that's for. Hey, big buddy. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just want to scan you. You're very cute. Snow Stalker. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't mind me. Just, uh, checking this place out. So you have a giant reaper skull. I, uh, need to mention. God, this character is a sick badass. Who just, who just decorates their house with a giant reaper skull? I mean, she probably found it. You could find reaper skulls in the first one. They were just kind of littered around, from what I remember, in one of the deeper zones. God. Can I, can I get past? Okay, I don't think you want me going in there. But I would like to go in there. Okay. So is this all I can do? I got one piece of the snow fox. Okay, Marguerite's... That far out to sea, swimming back for land wasn't an option. I'd die from exhaustion long before I made it to shore. All I could do was survive long enough to wash up somewhere. I felt a suction. And suddenly, there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me. It had taken hours for the Reaper's corpse to float to the surface. Using the knife, I clambered up her flank and got a perch on top. I figured she'd float for a few days at least. Enough for me to catch my breath. But would she sink before or after I died of thirst? I had a knife, a repair tool, and three liters of water. At least I wasn't going to die of exhaustion. Now, those reapers, they're practically all muscle. But there's some fat in there. I was able to keep warm and drink the water. And I didn't have much. But I had that repair tool, so I had a spark. It took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of reaper fat than I ever cared to. I had to ration fires. But as they burned, I could smoke meat that I carved out of the beast's ribcage. Wow, this person is a sick badass. So this is the second log, so I wonder if she killed the Reaper or if something else killed it. And then, yeah, it was floating towards the surface. I'm not sure. Carnivores. Snowstalker. Snowstalker is a bear-like evolutionary offshoot of the aquatic stalker native to the warmer aquatic biomes of 4546B. Oh! That's what you are. You're the stalkers from the first game, except you're the land variety and you're more like a bear. That's adorable. I love you. I want one. Snow stalkers are typically apex predators in their biomes. They operate in packs and are primarily land-based creatures, but will enter the water to hunt and defend territory. Notable physical attributes. Thick, hollow fur, that's a fur that secretes a thin layer of oil helps keep the snow stalker warm in the arctic climate. Modified dorsal fin aid in aquatic hunting. The cyan bioluminescence on the tongue and tail help the pack stay together during winter storms. Assessment. Avoid. If entering snowstalker territory is necessary, sources of bright light and unpredictable noises have been known to deter attacks. Interesting. This is a very, very interesting character that we have here. Snow Fox. The Snow Fox is a one-person hoverbike designed for fast traversal over a wide variety of terrain. It is basically a snowspeeder. 
While providing little protection for the pilot, the Snowfox can easily outmaneuver most threats, especially when upgraded with the jump module. Press the right mouse button, just don't try to take it over water. High speed hover bike, onboard headlight, press shift, will make you look cool. The Snowfox, other ground vehicle, or rabbits in its headlights. Alright. Well, that is interesting. That is interesting. So you gave me a couple of things that I needed. So one of the main blueprints that we got is um, the test override module, diagnostics module for the Delta Station communication tower. Unfortunately, we need a parallel processing unit, which I don't believe I have. Uh, we can make polyaniline now and hydrochloric acid that we get from cotton anemones. So we need to find those. Prawn suit, thermal reactor, yep. Oh, we need kyanite for that. That is a very, very deep resource. We finally have alien containment, large rooms, all that jazz. All right, we got a lot of stuff to think about, but um, <clears throat> I need to work on getting home now. So, yeah. I just heard something bad again. All right, so where's my sea truck? There's my sea truck. So let's get out of here and let's head home. Why don't we? <clears throat> I think that would probably be a good idea. I need to keep track of your base though. God, I wish I had a beacon. Shit. I wish you had a fabricator in there. Cause I would like to be able to keep track of your base and remember where you were. But unfortunately, uh, I don't have a beacon on me. So that makes it a bit harder. I guess if I just come back to the pilot's last known location, I can find it pretty easily. All right, we're trying to get back to refuge. Maximum depth reached. We're, we're getting out of here, we're getting out of here, you're fine. All right, so... Let's see if we can make our way out of here safely. Is this something I already had, or is this something new? Prawn suit grappling arm fragment. That is new. That is definitely new. There's a lot of pieces down here. That must be how um, she got the parts for her things. Probably, but, but did she say she had a scanner? She only said she had a repair tool, didn't she? I think that was all she said she had. So maybe that's not the case. But uh, we got that. Oh, I already, oh, I already had, I already finished that. I thought I needed one more. Most of these have required three, so. All right, over here. Sorry, friend, didn't mean to. Very sorry. I'm hitting the walls here. Jeez. Okay, yeah, I'm sparking now. We, we definitely gotta get home. Okay, so how will we get home from here? Let's see, Refuge is, oh God, Refuge is way over there. I thought I was going the right way, whoops. Um, hmm, gonna be a bit hard to get out of here, methinks. Uh, let's just try and head up, because if I can get up, I can just get out of here by going across the surface of the water, but I have to get out of this cave system first. That looks like it might lead out to the open ocean. Unless it's just not generating the rest of the cave. Please, I need out of here. Badly. Is that another nest? What do you got in you? Can't really tell. Might might be one I've already got. Sea truck horsepower upgrade. Thank you. I'll be taking that. Okay, there's one of the dead lily pads, so that must open up to the surface. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think we're I think we're gonna get out of here. Yeah, this goes up. Good, good. Okay, stay close to the glow whale. It'll keep other pr bigger predators away, right? Okay, where's refuge? 
Refuge? Refuge is this way. Okay, let's get up as high as we can. Those are just brute sharks. Nothing too scary. Alright, let's let's just go. Hello? Um Well that's interesting. I feel like I want to check this out. But I'm also about to die of thirst, so that's not something that we have the luxury of being able to do right now. We gotta get back home. First and foremost. Hopefully I don't run into anything really spooky or bad on the way back. Apparently I got way further away from home than I thought. What is that? Okay, that's just you guys. You guys aren't shit. Jerks. I just don't want to see anything worse down there, alright? My shit's barking. Uh, okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> I was scared for a second there. I heard some pretty scary noises. <clears throat> But I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, the video started off a little eh, but uh, <clears throat> we started making some progress. And that I am happy with. Okay, that's just one of you again. Oh boy, my heart. <clears throat> it wasn't particularly good at handling, handling that. But hey, we found Marguerite, we found her base. I'm gonna bring a beacon with me next time so I can mark it on the map so it'll be a bit easier to find. But like I said, if we just go to the pilot's last known location and head into that cave, we should be good for the most part. Why are you guys not spreading? You guys are supposed to be spreading. Oh wait, what am I, Never mind. I'm stupid. I'm stupid, go away. I am completely dumb. I just planted the gel sacks. You you gotta hit them to get the seeds. <laughs> uh, I completely forgot about that. I was like, oh yeah, you just plant them. No. You have to actually plant the seeds, man. To get new gel sacks. Oh my god. <clears throat> I was, I don't know, man. I was thinking like... Minecraft or something where you can just stick the shit in the ground and it'll and it'll grow or whatever. I I don't know, man. You still well, no, you still need seeds in Minecraft. I don't know what I was thinking of. Please don't yell at me. All right. I mean, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the comments on the on the previous on the last video, not this one. Yeah, I just realized as soon as I walked up, I was like, wait, why didn't they grow? And I'm like, oh yeah, you gotta smack the stupid gel sacks to get the seeds out. Well, Forgot about that. Captain. All right. <clears throat> water. We require water. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go, and we'll cook a hoop fish or two. Yeah, I'm sorry. I completely forgot uh, that you actually had to do that. Um, to uh, get the gel sacks to actually uh, expand. But it's not the biggest deal because I don't even really have to use gel sacks yet. So it's not like now I'm going to have to wait for them to grow. And I made a mistake or something. It's it's not the biggest deal. Just a fuck up on my part. All right, so we got a bunch of new stuff. Uh, crystals. We can put the rubies in there. Titanium. Uh, ore. We got a bunch of copper, a bunch of gold. Uh, oh yeah, and nickel. New. And then we got lead and lithium and. Oh yeah, wait, what did we need to... Did I never... Did I just never finish doing that? Wasn't... Didn't I hit a wall for some reason? That made it so I couldn't? Where is it? Sea truck? Uh... Oh yeah, I couldn't find my stupid thing. Where is it? Is it... Is it still snowing up? up? I don't think it is. So now I might be able to see it. No, it's still snowing. Damn it, where's my mobile vehicle bay? I'm gonna have to, like, find it off screen or something. 
Or just make a new one. I don't really remember what they require. I was just going to get the old one and like push it over here, pick it up and move it, but... God. Yeah, the snowstorm just screwed me up. Oh well, God. I feel like it, it's- this is one of those episodes where I feel like I've made so many mistakes. But it likely isn't that bad. Oh, but yes. I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Subnautica Below Zero, and I will see you next time.